Hi guys, um, we're going to be doing a, a nice bug out exercise weekend. Um, I'm a cockroach myself, um, we've got two nights so we're going to be camping out, testing out some new bits of kit and um, just pretty much being self-reliant and surviving with the equipment and gear that we have already prepared. So um, looking forward to this one, should be nice to get away from it all as well and uh, hopefully teach some of you guys who um, eager to learn some stuff about prepping, so see you soon. First thing to do, now you've got cammed up, is to uh, take some additional cam. The sniper veil is ideal. We have some sort of cam, that's going to be brilliant. And uh, just do a little primitive check to make sure that your uh, your bug out location hasn't been sussed really. We're going to be setting up camp pretty soon, but before we do, I think some uh, instant energy is uh, in call for. These are a great idea. They're really, really nice. You don't need any flames, any water, any petrol, nothing at all. You've got some simple instructions on there, which I'm sure everyone can follow. So we're going to uh, give this a try for the first time and uh, see how we get on. Well, all we've got to do first things first is to take the lid off. Once you get the lid off, he says. You got a nice little metal spike in there. Set that aside for now. So you just put the plastic lid on the bottom, and that's just going to stop any heat transfer. And you get the spike, and you spike the three holes as far as you can, all the way down to the bottom till you hear it click. And all that's going to do is just mix up the chemicals inside, starting a reaction which will uh, heat up the can. So once you get the free crunched, it's just a matter of uh, time. And it's a good idea at this point to uh, remove the ring pull on the top because it's going to explode if you don't. And all we've got to do now is wait. Well that didn't take long, it's just under three minutes and it's uh, starting to steam away quite nicely there. Pretty damn good. I quite like this actually, it's <laughs> nice and simple isn't it? I'll give that a few more minutes and I'll give her a stir up and uh, just let it do its bit. Very handy. Obviously, this being really, really hot now, um, the external covering is like a bubble wrap with the um, the label on the outside. So obviously, just be very careful when you try and mix this up, because obviously the outside of the can is going to be hot and the inside isn't. So. 
just a case of mixing it all up, making sure it all gets coated really. I must say it looks quite strange for a chicken curry of rice, but I'm pretty sure once it's cooked and uh, it's done its bit, I should be fine. Well, I think it's done. Um, the bottom of the can is really, really hot. So um, you can't sort of hold on to the same place for too long, if that makes sense. You've got to juggle your hands around because the can is hot. As for the contents, I don't know, I'll just try it a bit just now and um, it's above warm really. Let's try some now. Oh, I can see it's steamed. No, it's actually really nice, it's hot as well. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, it's really nice actually, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. So thumbs up from me. So there you go, hot again. At least one in the bug out bag, at least for emergency situations, you know, real emergency stuff. Spot on, really good. All right, first things first, um, we're in camp now and um, we're just gonna secure the perimeter now with this uh, a trip um, wire right there with a, quite a loud alarm system attached to it. Got 200 meters of a um, braided um, fishing line there. 50 pound breaking strain, which is non-stretch, which is ideal for this. Um, I'm just hoping it's gonna be long enough, so um, we'll see how we get on. All I've done was um, attach hook points to various trees. Where is it? There it is. And the line is just gonna um, go over the top of that hook and it's just going to go around doing a whole perimeter around our vehicles. Right, the correct way to use a machete around the hand and always away from you. So much more safer. Well there she is, all armed up and ready. And uh, it's quite sensitive, just touch that pin and it flies off. Uh, you can barely see it really. There it is there. I might as well just take you on the route. Whether you can see it or not, we're just showing you where the uh, perimeter is. Oh, where is it? It just links through the, the hoop there. I'm struggling to see it myself. Right. Onto that tree. Very hard to see actually. And when you come to mossy bits of the tree, you have to sort of um, cut it away a bit with your knife so it bonds properly. Otherwise, it just falls straight out of that moss. And uh, yeah, it just goes all the way through those lovely brambles. Just in time for a spot of shooting with uh, our kid, Mr. Roach. With his little setup, how cool is that? How you going, buddy? All good, nothing bad. Oh, yes.
That's 14 pigeons. Good shooting, sir. <laughs> right, I'm going to test it. I don't know if he's just picking it up, but it's quite dark now. It's uh, half past nine in the evening. Uh, this is that uh, SOG tactical tubber hawk I got. I've got 20 feet of paracord down there, um, gaffer tape, ranger bands all over, and a, a ferro rod in there as well, and some more ranger bands at the bottom, and also the grip loop there. So this is literally the first time Good. This is fair. Let's do this properly. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. It's the first time I've actually held a tomahawk before. No problem. That's where it's at. Yo. You just can't describe how cool this is. And a little piece of paradise, mate. Roach is just um, turning in, it's uh, witching hours approached, so um, that's him gone. I'm just tucking into my um, very, very nice chicken tikka masala with rice as a bit of a snack. Um, just to get some energy really inside yourself to keep yourself nice and warm, because it's going to be a clear night, the temperature's going to drop, so uh, just lay on top of my sleeping bag, it'll be nice and cosy I think.